Hey, what's up? Now we will learn how to create effects like Inception film uh, and it will look something like this, the upside down effect and basic title effects. But if you're new in my channel, please consider subscribing as I always want to come up with new effects with Adobe After Effects, Premiere Pro, Adobe Photoshop or any graphics related news and tips and updates. And right now we're going to take this footage uh, for our example. Uh, this is a very nice footage. Okay, let's start. So this is the After Effects composition. So first uh, we will uh, create a new composition. To create new composition you need to uh, click here or you can click here. Or for shortcut key, you can uh, press Ctrl N. So you'll see something like this. Uh, it will be based on your, you know, footage quality. Uh, and After Effects has so many built-in uh, presets. Uh, we're going to choose 1920x 180 pixel, and the frame rate will be 29.97. And the duration will be uh we'll we'll keep it seven seconds, okay. And uh for right now, right now we'll just you know keep it black. Uh, it's up to you. And we need to create a composition name. Okay, let's keep it upside down. Uh, hit OK, and you'll see something like this. And here, here is your quality, render quality, do you want to say it full, half, third or quarter. So for now we have just selected it for you know half. Right now we need to uh, import the footage so you can uh, import it or you can just drag it and drop it here. Okay. So, uh, then we'll drag our footage and put it here. And here is our footage. So, right now we will use mask tools on After Effects. Uh, he here is, you know, uh, rectangle mask tool and round rectangle and some other shapes and you can also create your own uh, masking with this so and masking is very important in After Effects with this tool you can uh, uh, you can remove a noise or portion from any footage but you can also use it uh, for other purposes and uh, for example let me let me show you guys one example for example we can select this building say so it can work like this and also if you do not select any uh, layers from here if you uh, use the same option it will uh, work as a shape layer so you see the difference between so if you select this uh, let's just delete our old mask uh, you can use it for any shape this is uh, uh, we are right now using rectangle shape uh, we can also select the uh, pen tool okay so okay so this is the mask tool so for the upside and down effect what we need to do is you know uh, cut this portion okay so let's do it sorry we need to select the layer then okay I, I think this is fine and make sure you have you know more spaces around the main footage as uh, we will uh, use the feather option so uh, it might have a 
effect on the footage it's better to you know mm, uh, it's better if you expand the path a bit more so what we're going to do uh, we, we need to uh, open this option a title and action save then select it then uh, we can see the box around it so uh, now we will uh, you can um, you need to move it down so to move it down you need to go to transform then uh, use the position of it so or you can use your keyboard uh, cursor uh, that is also fine uh, here is our footage then we need to duplicate it so to duplicate it you need uh, you can hit Control plus D on your keyboard or you need to do right click on it then there is a duplicate option here you can do it and uh, usually what I do I just press Control plus D so here is our duplicated footage here so uh, we're going to rotate it so to rotate it like this is the same option here uh, select the footage go to transform then rotation so we are rotating it to get inception style or ups and down style so make sure it is 180 degree so uh, we're going to keep it here I think it looks fine okay now as you can see it's overlapping so we need to smooth this part so here is our mask can you see uh, or you can uh, hit M uh, in uh, your keyboard to find it so here is a feather option we need to feather it out And this this option here, if we uh, click it, it will remove the whole thing. And also here, uh, I will hit M. Here is our, our mask option. Here is feather. We'll feather it out a bit. Uh, okay, I, th I think it's a bit smooth right now and this is our footage and it will look something like this okay i, I think it looks cool okay fine right. right now we will create a basic uh title fx for this uh tutorial and we'll keep uh, we'll put uh, the title effects in the middle here so so that it looks nice okay so we can uh, select uh, we can take a new composition or do the title effects here so we're going to do it here so here is a title uh, I need to click it here and we'll write uh, the upside down and I'm using unisense happy caps font Um, make sure your paragraph is center aligned and you can find it here and in case if you, if you uh, cannot find it you can uh, keep your paragraph option from the window menu on after effects so after you do that uh, we'll put it in the middle
There we go. So uh, we will use a effect on it. Uh, we will will go to the generate option, then four color gradient. Uh, it's up to you. But uh, for the tutorial purpose, we're just using four color gradient. You can use anything. Uh, Oh, and now we'll we'll change the colors of it. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, we will keep it uh, minimal. Now, uh, we'll click here, then uh, here is a text option, then we'll click on animate. Then we'll select the tracking. So what I want is, you know, here, here is our tracking option. So I want the text like this uh, here is our animation stopwatch you need to click it here and then uh, okay bring it here okay and uh, we need to, uh, it will look like something like this. Okay. And now we need to have a opacity so that you know uh, it doesn't pop up right away so we have a smooth effect here and to ease out this effect so so that it works uh, smoothly uh, we need to hit f9 so that it so that it smooth or So right now our animation uh, looks something like this and uh, it's not smooth so to make it smooth we need to click right click on it then keyframe assistant and there is a easy ease out okay need to uh, hit it and Right click it, then easy ease in. Okay, now see, it looks much better. And uh, as it is, you know, popping out randomly, so we will uh, work on it, okay, to give a dissolve effect manually here. So, what we need to do, we need to uh, open the opacity of it. And to do that, we need to hit T on our Windows keyboard. So here is 100%. Uh, I, I want it to pop out after 5 frames. So here is 100, and here is select 100, then 0. Then right click, keyframe, easy ease. Uh, that's it. So let's see. It looks like okay but I want it to come uh, I mean I mean the title I want it to come after one 
one second uh, no 15 frames so there we go so it will look something like this I think if it comes uh, a bit more slow it will look much better so to do that like if, uh, if there is a uh, so many animations on a layer so to find that out what you need to do is you need to uh, hit you on that layer so if we hit you it will show you all the animations of it so you can use this mm, uh, you technique to learn uh, what kind of effects had been done on a, a layer uh, of any templates or anything so uh, we'll we'll buy extra 15 seconds just you know drag it from here that's it uh, wow it looks nice and this is our upside down basic minimal animation and then uh, we'll work on more complex animation so let's render it out uh, how to render uh, you need to hit ctrl m on your keyboard and if you do if you do that then you, you will uh, see more options uh, so that you can render your footage uh, I'll do control M and after you create any animation you need to render it and to render in After Effects uh, you need to select the composition you can have you know 10 or 100 composition here so selecting the composition will only render that composition so for example here we only have this composition so we will select it then render it so to render it you need to click on you need to go to the composition menu then add to the render queue uh, or you can con or you can uh, hit control plus m on your keyboard so after you click it it will look something like this and uh, here is uh, three options here first option is the base settings we'll click on it so what that mean is uh, you can uh, render the composition as the uh, the size we have uh, taken it earlier for example 1920 uh, X 180 pixel so uh, that is the whole resolution of it but there is quality do you want it to we it on best or draft or wireframe so make sure you always choose the best and after that you need to uh, 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 select the resolution we'll select the full if you want it half for example if you are working for a client and the client wants to see uh, the glimpse of your work to give you the feedback so that you can render uh, so to render it fast you can select half if you have a you know very complex work or if the duration of the work is too long then you can uh, select low resolution but if your work is 100% done uh, then you should select the full then hit OK uh, and also here you can uh, choose the duration of it uh, for example uh, your uh, video is one minute long but you only need first 10 seconds of it or or you can even need for example uh, median middle 10 second of it for example 20 to 30 second of whole one minute so you can uh, start from 10 seconds to uh, your 20 seconds and if, if you want it to end at 10 seconds for any project or it can be 30 seconds you just you know write it down here and if you do not want to uh, customize it just keep it here the way it is and we'll hit okay 
then there is a uh, there is other option which is output module uh, you can uh, output it in so many formats uh, for this project we'll uh, select quick time then go to the format options uh, then video codec will select H.264 and the render quality will be 100 and same example goes here if uh, you want your uh, video fast if the project duration is you know too long then you know you can set the quality low but for now we'll select 100 and 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 if you want uh, uh, audio then you need to select audio output on if you don't want it then off and there are other settings so make sure uh, you select it based on the you know uh, project result uh, or the output value of it so we'll uh, for if you want the sound you just keep it on if you don't want it then keep it off uh, we don't have sound so we'll keep it off hit ok then you need to select the um, where it will go so after you click it you will see the document we'll see uh, we'll just keep it here we already have the rendered version of it so we'll click on save press it okay then hit render